it's a tragedy that has left so many lives distraught and destroyed. This incident happened at 1 a.m. South African time when most of the residents in this building behind me were fast asleep. It caught fire from the ground floor and what followed is chaos. According to those who saw what's happening is people were screaming, children jumping off the windows and a lot of people died as a result of that. But some were caught in the fire and they died inside. Those who survived the fire have told very sad stories. Many people, they failed to come out because of, uh, of the smoke. You see, they suffocate. And those guys who went out, they are the ones who they climbed through the window. Mm. So the babies and the ladies, uh, they are the ones who failed to come out. We were trying to come out, but we, others, they didn't come out because of that fire was coming down from down to up. Is that affects many people. Some people, they were trying to jump by the windows. That is why they, they uh, died. Others, they are injured. They are, they are at hospital. Authorities are saying this is an abandoned building, meaning it it is illegal for these people to be staying here, but it's not sure how they were allowed in the first place to stay here. This building was hijacked. I reported this to the city. One of the investigators from Jeeves came. In fact, we met him here with uh, one of the sector police. police. Could confirm that there's a lot of there's a lot of um, illegal foreigners that stays in this building. We have activated our. A disaster management officials who will start facilitating you know relief for affected residents we have got our uh, other city stakeholders our chaplaincy service who, who are busy now conducting uh, some trauma counseling to affected you know residents who have uh, lost their loved ones here to so come on, for your news in Johannesburg.